Hey guys and welcome to the fifth expedition. So this is a brand new game that just launched on early access on Steam. It takes place in a doomed world where society broke down a hundred years ago and various little camps have been sort of creating little mini societies in these old production facilities from the old world that no longer functions anymore. And they're running out of supplies and things are breaking down and going poorly. So They've been sending expeditions deeper into the facility to try to find supplies and so on. And the first four never came back. And so you're the fifth expedition. Straightforward enough. Uh, it is early access, and so among, among other things, that means that there's no story right now. Uh, there's going to be a story campaign at launch, whenever the, whenever the official launch happens. I, uh, but until then, uh, there's, you basically just play endless mode. So it's like the equivalent of if you, if you tried to play uh, Invisible Ink. And the only option was to play the mode where you just keep playing forever until you finally lose, as opposed to having the story mode. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out, but first, let's find out if the game's fun, right? <laughs> so, the Endless should be plenty serviceable for figuring out what we think of the game itself. Oh wow, here's a little thing to reinforce how early access we're in. Hello, the tutorial level for the game is not yet implemented. Until it is ready, we created this quick little tour to explain what everything means and does. If you want to skip this, feel free to do so. I think we're gonna... I feel like we're gonna to want to know what the tutorial is and what any mechanics are there are to learn. Your main goal on each map of the game is to make it to the end room with at least one character still alive. You only have 18 characters total for the entire campaign, though, so be protective of them. Got it. Interesting that there's 18, because there's five on the side of the screen here. I didn't actually know that they'd be subbing... We could be able to sub them in and out. Uh, resources. You can see how much you have. Um... Left to right there, scrap, energy, food rations, biogel, ACU. So scrap is this this little diamond. Energy, it looks like a lighter, maybe kind of? Or a bear or an open battery. Wait, no, is this energy? Wait. I think that might be that's a, I think the can might be scrap and the lightning bolt might be energy. Yeah, the health icon is food. And that strange symbol is biogel. And then this is ACO, ACU, so the far left must actually be some kind of currency instead, like money. Um, scrap energy are most important for crafting and keeping equipment usable. Rations are needed to keep your expedition going and are distributed to each uh, at the end of the mission. Biogel is for both crafting and medical treatment of units. ACU and AMA are rare resources used for crafting. Alright. Over here you can see your status of your characters. Health is red, stamina is yellow, straightforward enough. Select them by clicking on them, or press one F1 through F5. Everything a unit does will cost some amount of stamina, depending on the action. Action. If no stamina remains, health will be reduced instead. Oh, so you have to be careful about how many, how much you tell them to do things, or you just flat out run out of actions on your floor. But don't worry, stamina regenerates slowly. Okay, there we go. If health reduces to zero, they're dead. This should be avoided. If a unit has been spotted by something or is in danger, they will be highlight. Uh, they will be highlighted here. So if someone dies, that's it. They're gone forever. Oh, if some of these characters have a little bonus bar of stamina that goes beyond the main one. These are the actions. I have Plasma Burster fires a cone of highly destructive uh, plasma, dealing uh, 60 fire damage to anything it hits. Very small, kind of hard to read font on the number in particular. Toolkit allows you to unlock or lock doors and fix some machines. Basic energy cell enables interaction with electronic equipment. Heightened sense. Increased awareness for 20 seconds. Second wind. Gain 40 health and stamina over 2 seconds can only be used once per mission. Okay. Actions. Every unit can perform a number of actions based on their equipment and attributes. Most actions have a limited number of uses or charges that are refilled in between each mission, provided you have enough energy. Character details and radar. So we have a radar here. You can see some characters about the selected char uh, details about the selected character. Can I hit F2 to select one right now? No, you can't select one right now. Um... Press I to open up the detailed info panel. In there you can see the character's attributes, uh, equipment, and resistances to damage. Also, you can see the radar, which displays the relative location of your characters, as well as the location in, at, of the end room. Use this to navigate towards your goal. So here's a little radar here. Player abilities. Uh, here you have your player abilities. Right now that means three active abilities to use and your focus. Your active ability starts out set, but you can unlock and use different ones in between missions. 
Your focus, activated by the space bar, is a resource that lets you slow down time to a crawl to give you some extra thinking room, or reaction time. It will refill over time, but does so slow slowly, so use it wisely. So we have a limited resource for pausing in a, in a sort of Pillars of Eternity style way. Is our, oh, the minimap covers the whole screen when it's activated, apparently, by pressing tab. Uh, you can see, on the minimap, you can see that the map as you have uncovered it so far, along with where your character's most important objects are. So th the radar tells you where the exit is, but the minimap actually shows you what you've found so far. Awaiting orders. Here we go. So we're playing now. So there's our minimap. So we're all right here. That's our cluster of characters. Those appear to be doors. Some vague hints of where to go. This is the big... This is the big walkway that goes back and forth across here. That's what this big cross is. So so apparently we have a full line of sight of this particular room. Don't know what the exclamation point means, but I imagine it's bad. Let's see. Awaiting orders. On my way. So walking around, just seeing what impact that has on their stamina. Moving out. So far not so bad. Moving out. I'm sure we'll learn reasons why it might be a bad idea to all run around as a crowd. Those are heat vents. On my way. If it happens periodically, I probably want to be Moving careful out. about when I walk by the heat vent so I don't get hurt. Go. Moving out. All right, we're out of the way of that. So, somewhere off on the left here is going to be my objective. Moving out. What's over here? Sure we, thing. We got resources I from there. Do that. Okay, let's try selecting an individual character. So, F1. Or click on their portrait. Awaiting orders. So Luis Astony, she's kind of irritating. Standing by. Cliff Moon. Waiting. Basito Millis. Go time. Alia Istan. Awaiting orders. Doris Koch. And can I look at their characters from here? Awaiting orders. There's the there's an arrow icon. There's the eye icon. So that's their advanced information for strength and so on. Go time. Awaiting Nine strength, orders. ten strength, eight strength. Standing by. So on. See, explosive grenades, ooh, med kits, advanced armor, Go time. tool kits, other Go time. armor, scrambler. Everyone seems to have med kits on them, which is handy. By. I'm sure we'll want that. Let's see, there's the emergency heal, all units get in 20 hit points, and reveal area. Reveal a five tile radius circular around, circular area on the map, and gain active sight on it for 20 seconds. That'd be a way of scouting a specific location. Operator. Let's see, I'm wondering if I want to go slowly a little bit here. Okay, so you can rotate the camera. Moving out. There's weird hazards around here. On my way. I'm just wondering if I want to... Oh, crap. Moving That's out. bad. Um... Awaiting orders. First of all, can we all attack this thing? Moving out. Not a chance. No, I think, we're all just, I think we're all just standing in front of it and getting hit. Cool, good idea. <laughs> and now we're getting killed by a vent. Okay. I think I basically just lost in a few seconds. So to be clear there, as far as I can tell, I don't think we have weapons? Moving out. For starters? Awaiting orders. Flares, medkits, armors. Go time. We have, this character has a scrambler. Go time. Standing That's by. about it. Awaiting orders. Plasma burster. So fires a cone of highly destructive plasma. Dealing 60 fire damage to anything it hits. Alright, so that was a pretty bad mistake, but I think we can try to come back from that. I'm amazed this guy's still alive. Moving out. But let's see here. Moving out. If I can sneak up on this thing, can I do some proper damage with the plasma burster, for example? See, whatever happens, we don't want to get spotted. Oops, Standing I unselected by. her. Oh, ah, come... Ah. Crap. On my way. All right, mistakes were made. I started hitting left click to move instead of right click. That's what happens when you play a bunch of completely different games like XCOM and Banner Saga. You start playing as a bunch of characters, playing a bunch of games where you have to move that way. Okay, uh, margin for error. Turns out it's very easy to fuck up at this game. All right, off to a good start. All right, so we immediately lost basically everyone. It's probably not a bad idea to just start over and give this another shot from the get-go.
All right, it's a little rough because you get random characters just sort of thrown on you, but let's try to keep track of what these characters have. I went ahead and just st started over because obviously that was a shit show. Hear you. <laughs> this character has a gun and can work with tools. You kind of do have to just take a look at all your characters. I'm kind of surprised with five, with the complexity of five characters, each having like three to five skills each and so on while navigating this whole crazy place. I'm a little surprised this game isn't uh, turn based. Standing by. If this game controlled like invisible ink, for example, that just that kind of feels like just a natural way to handle this. So right now I'm I'm specifically looking for characters that can fight. Ready. A lot of uh, let's see, stim packs. What does that do? Increase all attributes for a little while, but you lose some hit points. Interesting. So there's a few characters Ready that can work with are. tools. But yeah, it's pretty all much right. these two specific characters though. Our top one and our bottom one. Waiting. He's got a he's got a ranged attack item. And she's got a explosive grenade, and that's pretty much what they have. Copy. Copy. So we'll try to navigate around. Oh. Let's move. Oh, that's a directional attack. Careful. So I want to explore. Oh, don't walk into that. I want to explore carefully. And if there's any enemy robots in the way, I want to try to fire at them. Bad guys. Anyone around? I'm on it. Definitely a sufficiently opp oppressive I'm atmosphere, planted. which I'm sure they're going for. You got it. And somewhere in this vague, it's actually closer to up here is going to be the way to the next door. Is that the exit? Three out of zero. I'm not sure what that one Let's means. Move. I'm on it. Let's head down. There's a chest over here. As far as I can tell. Do I toolkit it? Negative. Nope. No. Character seems largely under, under, uninterested On in this particular way. object. Maybe it's just a piece of clutter. Maybe. My pleasure. Oh. My pleasure. Oh no, we're we're clear. I thought that the uh, because the floor wasn't showing up due to line of sight. I thought that there was just a giant chasm there in the way. Uh, if you press the button. It, wait, if you press the button it inside this room, typo, uh, it will seal the inner door and open the outer door until the room is resolved, the inner door will stay shut. How do you resolve a door? It says 3 slash 1 now. Copy. Does it go back to 3 slash 0 when I leave? It does. So the fraction seems a little backwards, but it seems like, yeah, this is 1 out of 3 capacity. Must be a limit on how many people can come into it. this room. Interestingly, I seem to have already passed the exit somehow. Orders received. Unless I've misinterpreted what that means. I thought the icon meant exit. Is this the Copy exit that. over here? My pleasure. Or was it back here? Let's see. That's a dead end. Copy. Oh, there's a hatch. What's your deal? Let's try to interact with it. Activate trap temporarily. Or drain. What happens if I drain it? Are we going to gain resources? Alright. Hello? If any of my resources went Order up, it was received. it happened in a non-ceremonious manner. Immediately. I didn't, it, it might have increased my energy, I'm not sure. I would have to go back and review the footage to see if my energy Order went up or not. Received. Okay, we'll keep exploring. Let's move. Weird how there's just random floors that open and close everywhere, like weird little traps. Oh, I you stood directly it. in front of that vent. Almost. Copy. Not finding much so far. Everything's kind of it's kind of a weirdly empty space. Copy. How about this door, can I just open it? And was it mis was it a mistake? <laughs> Let's move. Yeah, there's kind of just randomly spinning hazards everywhere. This place was just... Medic! Oh, crap. What happened there? Commencing. Let's just, did I walk into a trap just now? I saw the fire. I definitely fought, saw a fire show up. On my way. So was that a, is that a fire trap, or is this place... Well, it doesn't seem to be periodically... Exhausting fire. It just way. seems to just sort of 
have hit me with fire. I'm on it. So it must have been a, a time trap. Does this ever stop? I can deactivate the trap, but it'll be temporary. Oh, commencing. Look at that. It spirals. This is a trap. Or it's a chance to drain. Let's give that a shot. I'll pay attention this time. We have 50 energy. And will it go up? Um... Energy level seems to be identical. I don't think any of my numbers changed, unless I missed which one it was. But now I've used up my energy cell, so I can't, uh, use it anymore. So I guess drain is not a way of harvesting resources, so it, it, it must be used for disabling something then. I hear you. Um, that seems like a big deal. Based on what I'm looking at, Copy it seems that. like the middle of the room would be safe. It just has vents on either side. Copy that. Protective energy cell enables interaction with electronic equipment. Did, did I get a second one? Because it, it stayed there. Let's see. Waiting. Is that really the only screen I get for to represent my, my character? Is this little screen? Basic energy cell. Huh. Yeah, I kind of wish there was a, an actual pop-up, like, character screen like you get for, in a lot of RPGs. What does the X do? I'm not sure. Just because this this seems like a less than ideal way of ex of expressing the, uh... You got it. What your, what your character currently has equipped on them. Can I open this one? Or is it locked? Oh, I unselected I you. Am ready. Uh, can you unlock it with that? No. He's really mad Negative. about that. <laughs> no, absolutely oh not. Way. I will not do that thing you asked for. How dare you expect me to open a thing? All right, the rest of our party's getting pretty far behind now. So I'm wondering if I should head towards them, but I don't know if I'm going in the right way or not. Copy. And it just feels like going forward with a character that can hurt people seems like the smart thing to do. Did I, I think I just stood on a damage vent. He seemed rather unfazed by it, Let's but move. his health is, I think, got lower. No, he's recovered now. He's fine. He's fine. Everything's fine. Don't stress. Hello? No. No. Why? Why don't, why don't you want to? Re why don't you no. want to gather resources? Oh, is the entire path blocked? You can't get over there. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Orders received. Let's head on across. Copy. Let's move. Is that a door over here? That's just kind of a wall. You got it. What's up here? Am I getting into some dangerous territory? Commencing. Just to explain my thought process, the reason why I'm running around Let's alone move. right now is because having a big party was really cumbersome. And I quickly realized, oh yeah, only some of them can even fight, as you far as I can tell. So, if they encounter a monster, or On the robot way. drone we saw, it seemed that having everyone around was kind of a hazard. This seems like we might be on the way to, to something On now. On my way. I'm surprised by how big this place is, by the way. Oh, weird. This, this is the uh, furthest you can zoom out, by the way. Uh, let's open up tab. That's a better way of navigating, getting an idea of where this place is. This pl wow. Look at the extent of this map. All right. Just kind of keeps going. The white dot is right here. So is it just the airlock? I don't know. It says I'm supposed to be finding the exit, but there's the airlock over there. And uh, it said I needed three people, and it, se it seemed to indicate that I'd be in trouble if I... It seemed that it, that something needed to be resolved to let you back out on the other side, so I was kind of worried that maybe Copy. if you entered the airlock, somebody else has to let you out from the other side or something. Orders Don't want to play with the airlock so much. And either way, it, it. If, if that is the exit, generally you want to find Copy stuff, that. right? In a game like FTL or really any game where you go floor by Orders floor and try not to die permanently, because everyone does die permanently in this game. My You're usually trying to scavenge or something, right? Oh, bad guy. Let's move. All right, let's give combat a shot then. You got it. I'm ambushing you. My Aha! Pleasure. Medic. Oh, I'm, I'm being burned alive by a flamethrower, and I'm dead. All right, that was my bad. 
made the mistake of standing a little too close to that. Uh, the reason why I stood there in the doorway for a while is because I was thinking, oh yeah, I'm going to try to, uh, I thought I, I thought I would try to lock the door behind me, basically. What's up? What's up? Alright, well I guess we'll just explore as a group, because my chances of survival seem nil right now. All right. Maybe we, uh, oop. Oh crap, it's this. Okay, I made a terrible mistake. Yeah, yes, this is, this is why you don't Could try you to move help? the entire squad as one. <laughs> it's super cumbersome. That was a mistake. That was totally a mistake. But let's go visit this airlock. And see if I can learn something about how this Ooh, works, yeah. I guess. On my way. Now it says three out of four. Now what if I, what if I use the button? Ready when you are. On my I'm way. just able to continue? Moving What's out. the deal with that? So you need to have at least three people to go through an airlock? Why? That seems kind of arbitrary. Let's no go. Way. Ready. No Moving way. Out. And there's massive Moving lasers out. now. That poor guy. He's dead forever. And he's never coming back. Um... La laser does not seem to be dying down, so... I am ready. Uh, energy cell. Let's, Let's see if move. I can... Can I use that on this thing? Drain? Okay. Is that what I'm trying to use drain for? Because I tried to use it for harvesting resources and it didn't seem very helpful. But, hey! Ready. On my way. Disable a trap. Let's get, out of, let's get through before it turns on or something. Um, is this a timing-based trap to evade through? Oh, God. All right. Careful. All right. So it, at least it goes in a pattern, right? Well, what's up? What's up? In a position. I should really just stick with one guy at okay. a time. I'm gonna get in trouble if I try to, if I try to be clever and fast about this. Orders. On my way. So you just go forward a little bit, wait for it to pass, and then continue past. Moving out. Ready when you are. All right. Careful. All yeah. There we go. We're, cl we're, th we're clear. I will say my opinion of this game so far isn't great. And it's it's interesting because it's it's uh on one level like you, you you often like talk about like whether or not the game is accomplishing what it's trying to do. Right. I think like I don't know if it's necessary. Like it might be doing what it's trying to do, All but right. I, I'm start the more I see what the game's trying to do, I'm I think I'm sort of figuring that I don't necessarily want to experience what it's going for. Because yeah, these timing based things to walk through aren't very exciting to me, and trying to manage, considering how fast you seem to die in this game, trying to do counter attacks in time seems like a problem. Maybe you're supposed to evade all the robots, just completely. Let's see. Let's let's watch the pattern here so I can learn how to avoid it. So this third one doesn't turn on right away. Ooh. So you want to stand by this one. Okay. All right. So run up to here. Let's and go. then go forward. Oh crap, did I not bring someone who can actually interact with this thing? What's up? Wait, can anyone interact with this thing? Something's moving! Oh, what I do what it what? You guys notice something? You guys currently panicking? There's a little there's a little orange square. I don't know what that means. What's up? That's about as minimal as inventory stuff gets. Is this not a thing I can interact with? Oh, let's use the All button. Right. What does button do? Oh, there's there's bad guys here. Um, uh, I'm way. going to die now. Uh, shit. Somebody has grenades, uh, right? Of uh, grenade. Kata. Uh, I'm dead now. Well, I'm mostly dead. Well, I finished off the last character I had besides this one. <laughs> so apparently that robot we fought earlier came all the way down here, because that one had 40 hit points. So it made its way all the way down from... way over here. Or at least that's my interpretation, is I think it ran all the way down here. That's an angry freaking robot. Alright, well, four people are dead again. Did the button do anything? Four, three, two, one. Oh, no. So someone can temporarily disable lasers over here using this button. 
What's up? Let's and go. that would allow you to proceed accordingly. Hold I assume. On. Let's but go. since I don't have a crew anymore, that's I guess it's useless to me. Unless I want to manually disable all of them. Uh, I can energy cell three times, which is like getting me towards that door. Or I could just go over here. All right. All right. Hello? What's past Let's here? Go. I'm pretty doomed at this point, because I have no f Looking I have good. no friends. Uh on the next floor. Alright. They, they they automatically distribute uh, rations when you get from floor to floor. So at that point, uh, you can play your other 18 characters, Let's so the ca this campaign would not be over already. But uh, my success is pretty no defeated at this point. I can't energy sell that thing? No way. Why not? No way. Why not? We energy- we drained it before. Why don't you work now? There- now I can. Okay. Not sure what I was doing wrong there, control-wise, but hey, we can do it now. All right. We can force drain our way through. Is the pit the way we came from? I don't. I don't think it's in line of sight anymore. I was curious whether or not it was uh, still if, if it was still drained or if it wore off. Let's go. Hard to tell. Ready when you are. Please click on the thing. Impossible. Please. Oh wait, it's gone. Oh crap. It said four, so I thought I could do it four times. I can only do it twice. Oh well. Right. Lasers! I made it. We're fine. Shh, quiet. All right. Just remain calm. Is this the exit? This looks important. Ready when you are. Um... No, it's not. Seems like I can't do anything with these objects. And this staircase, uh, I don't think I can climb on it. All right. Looks like you can just walk up to it, and then that's it. All right. And, yeah, I think this is just rubble of some kind. Or maybe maybe I could interact with that terminal if Let's I had go. tech con tech support powers, but I do not. What's up? Can you open the door? No way. Well, I can't open the door. All right. Well, I can try to heal myself, I guess. Because I <laughs> think I'm gonna have to go take another laser to the face if I want to continue. Yep. Let's go. Wait, did I even heal? I used it on myself, right? All right. Uh, let's see if that's enough. Just barely. Let's go. Just barely. You know what? I think I might take the easy way out, honestly. Let's go. Let's go ahead and just let this happen already. Bye. Bye, teammate. Alright. I think this is gonna be I think this is a let's try. A little single a little one off little look at a game. This is the fifth expedition. It's an indie survival squad based little top down strategy game. Uh it might get better with more development time because it is it is an early access, uh, and it might it might even be good now, but in a way that I don't appreciate. But I think I'm done. I I I, I think it's safe to say I'm not super into this, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it quits here. But guys, thanks for watching, like always, and uh, hey, always happy to have the opportunity to try out one of these things at least, uh, even if it doesn't work out sooner or later. You can find links in the description if you want to find out how to buy this game and how much it costs and so on. And uh, thank you very much for the, for the developer for providing a key in the first place. Thanks for watching like always guys, and I will see you next time.